So we have one of the largest thoracic surgical divisions in the country, if not the largest. Um, and as a consequence, um, we have a large collective experience of taking care of patients who have esophageal cancer. I think in general, um, esophageal cancer and the treatment of esophageal cancer can be quite complicated. Um, it's one of, from a surgical standpoint, one of the bigger surgeries, more complicated surgeries that we do. Um, uh, and it often requires a multidisciplinary uh, approach to treatment. Um, the majority of patients present with a locally advanced disease, if not um, metastatic disease, um, and it often requires chemotherapy, radiation therapy, and surgery. And so basically, we started in the abdomen with a laparoscopic approach, which means um, we don't need to make a big um, uh, incision. We make five small incisions and use a camera uh, and smaller instruments that go through incisions, the biggest of which is you know, essentially the width of, of your thumbnail. Um, and what we do uh, in the abdominal portion of the procedure is we free up the stomach from the majority of its blood supply um, and all of its attachments so that we can ultimately reconstruct the esophagus with the stomach. Uh, at the same time, we also free up a part of the esophagus that's actually in the abdomen. Um, and generally, a lot of the esophageal tumors are down in the lower esophagus, and so we're sort of freeing up all of the lymph nodes around the esophagus in that region. Um, for the most part, all of us also will put in a feeding tube at that point, and all of that can be done laparoscopically. Um, and then uh, midway through the surgery, we actually change the patient's position, uh, and we turn them up on their side. Um, and then we do a similar minimally invasive approach through the chest, uh, where we make small incisions and we use a camera, and then we free up the esophagus within the chest. Um, so that we can get um, a, a reasonable distance above the tumor. And then we essentially take out all of the esophagus that we've mobilized uh, from the abdomen and from the chest, and we remove it. And then there's, a, there's basically a gap there. So we take the stomach and we turn it into a tube and reconnect it to where we've divided the esophagus in the chest. The new connection that we've made between the stomach and the esophagus is healing. We provide nutritional support through a feeding tube. Um, and basically over the month following the recovery from the surgery, as the, es the new esophagus heals essentially, um, we gradually advance the diet and, and uh, withdraw the feeding tube support so that at the end of a month, a patient is essentially back to eating almost regular diet. Um, oftentimes the meals are smaller and more frequent. Um, so patients uh, need to eat about five or six small meals a day instead of three, three meals a day. Um, but over the course of a year or so, um, the diet generally goes back to essentially a normal diet.